It's time for SHL News. So we just finished off week 12. Things were really exciting this week as we had the Thai national hockey team players back in the SHL. And in our first game this week, we had the two top teams in the league, Sport Corner Titanium with 18 points and the Sukhumvit Spitfires with 17 points facing off against each other. And the two hottest players in the league going against each other with Mike Wilson of Sport Corner Titanium in second place with 20 points, 10 goals, 10 assists in 12 games and Donnie Kerfoot of the Sukhumvit Spitfires in third place with 18 points, 13 goals and 5 assists in 8 games. Although Sport Corner Titanium lost last week to the aware, with Mike Wilson on fire being in second place in the league in points and having John Silkimitz Sheknovsky back in the lineup, they are poised to do some great things in this game. And the Sukhumvit Spitfires have been on fire lately, going from last place to second place and they're on a six game winning streak. As long as Donnie Kerfoot keeps producing, Lance Parker stays strong between the pipes, Adrian Myers and Harrison Oetstemel keep marking up points on their second level guys, Ernesto Bauer, Scott Murray and Jason Bitter keep up their great work as well, they'll be able to give Sport Corner Titanium a run for their money. This game started out well with both teams getting some scoring chances and the play going back and forth for both teams. At 10-10, Scott Wickholm got the first goal of the game for the Sukhumvit Spitfires, with the assist going to Donnie Kerfoot. Things started getting a little physical on the ice, after, and after a few missed calls, Donnie was called for checking. Sukhumvit Spitfires did a great job of killing off this penalty. Donnie got out of the box and it was like a fire had been lit underneath him. He picked up a pass from Garrett Howden and stormed the net, putting a move on Gabor Toth and found the back of the net to put the Sukhumvit Spitfires up 2-0. At the end of the first period, the score was Sport Corner Titanium 0 with 9 shots and the Sukhumvit Spitfires 2 with 10 shots. Six minutes into the second period, Lance is called for a delay a game penalty and the Sukhumvit Spitfires again do an excellent job of killing this penalty off. With 5.25 left in the period, Scott Murray scores the third goal for the Sukhumvit Spitfires with the assist again going to Donnie. With 3.35 left in the second period, Scott Wickholm is called for hooking. This leads to Silkimitz getting his first goal since coming back from vacation at 3.20 to finally put Sport Corner Titanium on the board with the assist going to Ang Ratanchot. At the end of the second period, the score was Sport Corner Titanium 1 with 19 shots and the Sukhumvit Spitfires 3 with 20 shots. At 9.40, Zach Garofolo scored for the Sport Corner Titanium with Ang getting his second assist. With 6.55 left in the game, DJ Sherman is called for tripping. 35 seconds later, Alistair Fawcett scores for the Spitfires, with the assist going to Adrian Myers and Garrett Howden. The final score of the game was Sport Corner Titanium 2 with 27 shots and the Sukhumvit Spitfires 4 with 27 shots, putting the Sukhumvit Spitfires in first place. The Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game went to Adrian Myers for his outstanding defensive plays, for constantly pushing the play forward and assisting on Alistair's goal and had a chance to chat with Adrian after the game. I have the Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game, Adrian Myers. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Merci beaucoup. Tough game, man. It was a good game. I thought it was a great game. I thought uh, probably one of the better games I've played in Thailand in the last, I don't know, four or five years. That was awesome. Um, what limited fans we have, I'm sure, sure liked it. I mean, that was, that was, that was a great game. That was fun. Yeah, just watch, standing over there watching it, man, you guys, everybody going back and forth. This is something we really, we, everybody was really looking forward to. So thanks a lot. No problem, man. I thought Lance had a great game. I thought uh, Robbie had a big game. Scott, Scott Wickham came out and played well for us, even the Thai guy. I mean, everyone played well. It was awesome. It was a good, good team game. Um, yeah, it was fun, man. It was good. I'm, you know, I'm sure, sure we'll see them again in the playoffs soon, so it'll be good. Yeah. I think so. All right, well, congratulations. Cool, buddy. Thanks a lot. Take care. Our second game had Hooters Nana versus the Aware. Hooters came into this week on a six game losing streak. Although they've been losing, these games have been close, with Hooters only needing a few bounces to go their way to break this losing streak. One of the things going their way this week was having the Thai national hockey team players back in the lineup, so they had Dream in the net and Moo, the number one pick in the draft, back in the lineup as well. Aware got a much needed win against Sport Corner Titanium last week. But they suffered a big loss with Yves Gabarot going out in the second period with a lower body injury. But they stayed strong to hold off Sport Corner Titanium. They'll need to build on this, and with Patrick Lumbeck being back in the lineup, this should be good for them. 
they got a good backup goalie in Dewey to replace Eves for this week. This game, like the first, saw the play going back and forth between the two ends, with both teams getting some good scoring opportunities, but both goalies, Dream and Dewey, were strong between the pipes. Early on, we saw Michael White of Hooters Nana streaking through the center of the ice and letting a shot rip and pinging off the crossbar, with lots of people thinking it went in. But then, Brendan Vick headed back the other way and scored, or at least he thought he did, as did his teammates. But there was no goal. The problem being, the refs just didn't see this one go in, allowing Hooters Nana and a number of opportunities to get a goal before, a reali before Aware realized what was going on. But they just couldn't capitalize on the opportunity. With 1.40 left in the period, Andy Bryan of Hooters Nana put one away with the assist going to Mu Tengsakolm. The end of the first period saw Hooters Nana 1 with 6 shots and Aware 0 with 8 shots. The second period saw Aware controlling most of the first half of the period and finally tying it up at 7.45 with a goal coming from Marcel Bowens, which was assisted by Patrick. At 4.19, Yin Tenen Kronkiriat was called for interference, but Aware did a great job in killing off this penalty. Then, with 1.25 left in the first period, Christian Olsen was called for cross-checking, but again, the Aware did an amazing job with killing this penalty off as well. The end of the period saw Hooters Nana 1 with 13 shots and Aware 1 with 18 shots. Eight minutes into the third period, Aware took the lead with a goal from Brendan, with the assist going to Christian. Things were looking good for Aware until 4.15 when Sebastian Ranger scored one for Hooters Nana, with the assist going to Moo and Gary Cosby. Aware dominated the rest of the period, and when Hooters didn't get the puck back, they just couldn't put the puck in the net. The score at the end of the third period was Hooters Na Hooters Nana 2 with 21 shots and Aware 2 with an amazing 35 shots, forcing a 3-on-3 three -three overtime. Things were even in the overtime period with the play going back and forth and both teams getting some great scoring opportunities, but neither team could get the puck in the net again. The end of the overtime period saw Hooters Nana 2 with 26 shots and Aware 2 with 40 shots, with the game being decided by shootout. Aware started this off with Brendan getting the first opportunity, but he missed the net. Hooters Nana was up next with Michael White, who also missed the net. Aware then had Yeen take the next shot, slowly looping right, then left, not seeming to be in any rush, causing Dream to dive and try to make a save. But Yeen, being patient, angled a stick out just a little further and pushed the puck in the net. Hooters then had Moo taking the shot, with a sweet move, he beat Jewey to keep Hooters Nana in the game. Next up for Aware was Tan Lippenpet. Tan took an amazing wrist shot, putting the puck past Dream into the top right-hand corner. Next up for Hooters Nana had Hideki Nagiyama. Hideki put an amazing deke on Jewey and had him beat, but lost the puck before getting the shot off, which gave Aware the win. Talk about a close game. The Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game went to Moo for his two assists and his goal during the shootout. And I had a chance to catch up with him after the game. I have the Rolling Stone player of the game, Moo from Hooters Nana. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Wow. Close game. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Uh, have a good uh, tie game uh, after 2-1-2 uh, and two and, uh, overtime uh, until the... Um, Shoot out. They yeah, say, okay, it is a uh, strong team. Yeah, very good team. Yeah. All right, well, congratulations again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sukhumvit Spitfires will be coming into this game riding high with being on a seven game winning streak and beating Sport Corner Titanium last week to take the first place spot in the league. This team has really gelled with the top guys, Donnie, Adrian, and Harrison, all doing well, as well as their second level guys, Ernesto, Scott, and Jason all producing and Lance being amazing between the pipes as well. Aware are coming into this game after getting a shootout victory against Hooters Nana last week to put them on a two-game winning streak. Getting Patrick back in their lineup has really helped a lot and their top level guys Brendan and Darren have been doing well and their second level guys Corey, Devin and Tan have also been producing as well. The only thing that they might struggle with is that they are missing their goalie, Eves, for a few more weeks with a lower body injury, and they will need to find a solid backup goalie. In our second game, we have Sport Corner Titanium against Hooters Nana. 
Sport Corner Titanium will be smarting after their loss last week to the Sukhumvit Spitfires, and they'll want to make that up. They'll need their top-level guys, Silky Mitz, Mike, and Zach, to stay active, as well as their second-level guys, Yari, Remo, and Yoni. They'll also need Gabor to bounce back from last week's loss to keep, this, keep his head in the game. Hooters Nana are coming into this game on a seven-game losing streak, but all of these losses have been really close games. They just need a few more bounces to go their way. Andy has been really hot as of late with his amazing buildup of assists. And the rest of their top-level guys, Steven Sproul, Paul Stoddart, Justin, and Law, continue to pr produce every week. With Top, Moo, and Dream all being back in the lineup, things should go well for Hooters. Both games look to be very exciting this week and a lot of fun to watch. And I'll see you at the rink.